Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at using Python and within it we're going to use a module called Turtle and this is going to allow us to make some graphical representations on the screen. Now to start with we want to use the programming interface idle so we're going to open idle. Now idle has two forms, it's got an interactive form and a non-interactive form. We're going to use the interactive form for this one which means that whatever we type in happens immediately. The downside of that is it doesn't save it, and if we make a mistake, we probably have to type it again. Now, to begin with, we're just going to import Turtle. Now, Turtle is a module within Python that already exists, so it's basically pre programmed. Nothing happens, but it's run, we've not got any errors. Now, just to show what happens if I now type in Turtle, so we're using the module Turtle, which is why we're writing Turtle, but we want it then to make it go forward, so we've got a few ways of doing that. We can either write forward or for short we can put FD but in brackets we need to put distance. I'm going to put 100 and press enter and that's run. You can't see it because for some reason it's hiding behind here. So what we're going to do is shrink this a little bit so we can see and pull this across so we can now see both our programming interface here and our turtle graphics window. And you can see our turtle on here is actually an arrow. Originally, Turtle was a 1966 program called Logo Turtle, and actually looked a bit more like a turtle than this does. So, we can use a range of other instructions. We can have Turtle Forward, we can have Turtle RT, which is right. We have to give a number of degrees, so it's a 90. So it turns but it doesn't move. We can do Turtle dot Forward again, put the same distance again, or a different distance if you want, and it moves again. We can say turtle dot bk, which is backwards, and we can put a larger distance in and watch it should go right back up there. We can put turtle dot lt, which is left, and again if I put 90 in it should swing around. We can go turtle dot forward, and you can see we're starting to make some sort of random pattern. We can make this a little bit more interesting if we add a couple of extra features. So one of the things we can do. So you can say turtle pu, which is pen up. You start to put the brackets in. It lifts the pen. And then we go turtle dot forward 100. And you'll see it moves, but it doesn't draw. If I now do turtle dot pd, which is pen down. Again, we want the brackets, but nothing inside them. And then I go turtle. I'm going to turn right, actually, first, because I'm running out of space here. 90. And then turtle dot forward 100, which is here draws a line again. So that allows us to make more interesting shapes because we can jump across into different spaces. One more thing we'll try. So we'll go turtle dot pen color. Notice the American spelling of pen color. Speech marks, and then the color we want to try. So I'm going to try red for this one. And I'm going to say turtle dot forward 100 again. See it's gone red. If I want to try a different one, we could say turtle dot pen color green. We can say, hmm, see the mistake I made there. Instead of writing the American spelling of pen color, I wrote the British spelling of pen color. It doesn't know what to do with that. And the nice thing in Python is it gives us an error message and it invariably tells us what. So it says here, there's no attribute pen color. Did I mean pen color? So I need to write that again now. So I'm going to write turtle dot pen color green. Press enter. It recognizes it this time. I can actually shrink this down a bit so I can see the bottom of this a little bit more easily. And now we can go turtle dot forward 100 again. And you can see we've got three colors now. I've got the black, the red, and the green. Now, we've got the basic instructions there. We've got forward, right, backwards, left, pen up, pen down, and we've changed the pen color. From this, it should be possible to make a picture of a house, a picture of a car. Let's see what you can do. Try exploring it and see what interesting kind of patterns and shapes you can make with this.